Okay, Glenn, uh, this is the fourth day of the World Championship in Kuntala. I was uh, to make uh, the interview in the morning, but I'm glad that I make it now. And how was the day? You had uh, the second and third race at the mission. How was uh, the racing today? Yeah, I mean, the, the racing today was uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, really had a really, really close, uh, close battle with uh, with Misha. Um, you know, it was only about a boat length and a half in it. At the end of the finish, I sort of had to, you know, foiling downwind, had to sort of shoot the committee boat. Um, yeah, yeah, downwind uh, a little bit. I was a little bit lower than him downwind, yeah. and uh, he was a little bit higher and faster yeah. than the upwind. But uh, yeah. you know, he's a bit bigger than me, so uh, yeah. you know he's he's always going to go pretty nicely. So uh, we had a fantastic battle, and uh, okay, so we were in, we were telling about the first race. It was pretty close. Look from outside like a mat race. Yeah, yeah I mean we were we were basically sailing around the course together a lot of the time. You know, going tack for tack, jibe for jibe, and. Uh, you know, we're both pushing each other really hard. You know, we're, we're you know pushing the boats you know to the limit downwind, sometimes a little bit past the limit, and uh, getting away with it. But uh, you know, in the end, for me, these boats are so much fun to sail, and it's been really great to be pushed hard. And uh, I think for Misha also, you know, we've been uh, he's been you know equally enjoying the racing as well. So we've we've both Thanks. been enjoying. And side, it's also looked at you guys are like. Wow, this is it's good. We are going like really fast, really stable for the moment. We are like enjoying the ride, right? Absolutely. I mean, the boats, the boats are, are extremely fast. You know, downwind now compared to what they were even a year ago. You know, there's been a huge step forwards in the development, and uh, you know, upwinds also got faster as well. So, um, you know, the, our lap times now are just you know probably compared to Takapuna one and a half years ago are probably between five and, and eight minutes quicker around the course than what we were then. So, um, you know, the boats are getting more and more fun to sail. And they're a little bit safer, right? Now. But not yeah. that Takapuna, but years ago, maybe Florida or another world that you've been on the winglet, uh, it was more stable with the pitch inside. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the with the you know the elevators on the back and the the, the foils, the shape they are at the moment, you can push. Uh, really hard. You can push really hard, and and there's different angles that become more difficult though. Like you know, from going upwind to the the, the clearing mark is, yes. you know, doing 90 degrees true wind angle in 20 knots of wind is really really That's tricky, changed. and then trying to get from 90 degrees to downwind um, without. Crashing is, is quite a difficult one as well. That is the I think one of the key points you and Misha are doing because you're coming from the upwind to the mark to the top mark and you keep going, you keep the momentum. Mm -hmm. And I think man that is really hard to do because then I see other guys, top guys, yes. and they need to come in mm -hmm. and prepare. So yeah. that part is for the foiling in the lower wind is key also, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean you make you make some huge gains, you know, at the corners of the and course. You know, tax jibes, mark roundings is where you can make a lot of ground. Particularly when you're when you're foiling, if you can, if you can, like in the moth, you know, if you can pop up just before the other guy on a light wind you're day, gone. Yeah, you're gone. So um, you know, doing the manoeuvre very smoothly and keeping the boat uh, yeah. really flat and under control is, is a big part of making a good gain at the top part of the course. Okay, and speaking about the uh, stable of, of the boat. How about the the rig that you're not, you're racing now? Yeah. Compared to the you were racing like two weeks ago. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Look, I mean, there's uh, you know the whole boat sort of developing the whole time, and mm -hmm. it's um you know the, the the I guess the deck sealed rig, the deck sweeper, or whatever you want to call it, is yeah. um you know it's pretty pretty old technology. It's been around for yeah. since the. You know, 50s and 60s in actual fact. It's now so, coming back and being applied again. Absolutely. I mean, the wheel, the development wheel often goes full circle and um, with the, the foiling and the high speeds and the apparent wind speed forward, um, you know, we don't generally need, unless it's really light wind, you don't need um, any more, I don't think, a huge amount of sail area up high, um, which is helping you fly the hull. but. Now we basically want the power to help us power, go forward. Power, so power. absolutely, we don't need to to try and lift the hull like the old displacement. That is one of the main difference I'm seeing with the other boats. That beyond your abilities and easier and handling, the boats are flat. They are going flat, impressive. Like they going like this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you know, Mish has done a huge amount of sailing, and I think you know, it's taken me a 
you know, a few days, maybe a week to get back into the, um, you know, the boat handling side of things back on the A class. When well, I sail you finally in get to master uh, again yeah. between the remarks. And so today you want the first one, it was really close. And the second one, you have a little more margin, right? Yeah, I mean, the first race was extremely close. Uh, the second race, yeah, I had a slightly better first downwind than, than Misha. He got to the top mark first, but I uh, managed to do a nice jibe um, and get foiling very early and get a nice little run. Um, managed to put probably 50 or 60 metres on him at the bottom. So, uh, yeah. But you go for a split? You go for a split or you, or you came ahead on a split? No, no, we, we went a similar way. Um, there was only probably 100 metres difference between us, but um, yeah, I think maybe I was just set up just a little bit better than him for the first downwind of the second race. And um, then the next upwind, he was clawing back and uh, almost getting in front of me again at the top. Yeah, upwind he was recovering. Yeah, upwind he's, he's very, very fast and you know, he's 93 kilos and, and quite tall, and I'm only 77, 78 kilos. And, and, not tall. <laughs> but you always manage to go really good up in also, right? Your trap is pretty low. Your weight is not, not a disadvantage for going up and for you. Oh, I mean, I, I would love to be uh, taller and weight. taller and heavier for sure. No, no, for sure. I mean, there's a huge amount of uh, uh, technique. No, no, no. If you go that way, no good. one is going to catch you ever. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to you are continue to push yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're, you know, I haven't had a lot of time in the last uh, few yeah, years to, to, to do the sail team. making, but uh, yeah, no, absolutely. The, the, you know, I've spent a long time in the class, in, in, in a lot of multi-hole classes, and, and absolutely I need to, to go back home and, and do some more design work, and uh, our production loft back in Australia will be producing sails all the way through to next year, and I think um, the sail that I have here... was uh, one a standard sail, right, then you modified it, it's okay? Yeah, absolutely. The, the sail I had here was just a standard sail which I, I cut and modified uh, just by hand. Um, four hours work and, and this is what I have here. So but it's, it's, working. it's, working, it's working okay. I, I, for sure I can do a much better job better. and the, the future sails will be uh, you know, a much better product than what I'm using here for sure. Wait the guys in the American Cup, I'm not coming again with, in the A-class. They're going to mod, to mod uh, sailing and I think here we have a lot of room for development for the American Cup. If someone can make this ball foil up win or it's going to be in the A-class, in a real box, I think it's a good room for the designer to be here. Right? You are part of, of Team New Zealand, but I'm speaking about the other guys. Yeah, I mean, for me, you know... You're here. I, I, I'm here, You're but here. Uh, no, I think, you know, for a lot of the other uh, America's Cup guys, they, I think, it, you know, by sailing the A class, you, you learn a lot, and um, you know I think it's a, probably a shame that they're not here because you know you learn a lot of things, and it's definitely applicable to to the bigger boat sailing. So I think in the future we will see uh, much more of the other guys coming to sail A class because it's it's really the, the touchy feely part of A class sailing really, uh, really refined, to the other boats. Really refined equipment and sailing, right? In the A class, yeah. Refined, I mean, it's, Absolutely, you, you feel all the changes you make and in the end the, the, what you learn on a small boat transfers really nicely into the, into the bigger boats.